most of what we need to do for this side will be the same as we did for the top. Rather than creating new toolpaths for this side of the part, we will use our existing proven toolpaths. This will improve our workflow, reduce our programming time, and produce consistent toolpath output. We don't need to copy all the toolpaths, only select toolpaths from Setup 1. With Setup 1 expanded, I want to select the Face toolpath, the two 2D Adaptive toolpaths, the two Contour toolpaths, the Chamfer toolpath, and the Spot Drill toolpath. Select the Face toolpath, hold down the Shift key, and select the Spot Drilling toolpath. Now with all those selected, I can right-click my mouse and select Copy. Now I'll click down here on Setup 2, right-click, and tell it to paste those toolpaths. If we expand Setup 2, we have our seven toolpaths. You'll notice they all have a red exclamation mark, indicating that they are all currently invalid, or dirty toolpaths. Let's click on the Face Milling toolpath, and then click on it one more time. This allows us to rename the operation. Change it to say Face Bottom, and press Enter. Right-click this operation and select Edit. We'll be using the same tool, so there's nothing to change here. Let's go to the Geometry tab. It still wants to cut the entire stock boundary, so there's nothing to select here. Let's go to the Heights tab. The top height is set to the Stock Top. Remember, the stock model has about 200,000 stock that we have to remove. For the bottom height, it's set to the model top. There's nothing for us to change here. Let's go to the Passes tab. Most of this will be the same as before, but this time we're going to enable multiple depths. Set the maximum step down to 0.08. Enable Finishing Step and set the Finishing Step down to 0.03. There's nothing to change on the Linking tab, so let's press OK. Looks like we have three roughing passes and one finish pass to remove all that stock. In this lesson, we covered copying tool paths between setups, renaming operations, and creating multiple depth cuts. Press Ctrl S to save the part. Command S on the Mac.